touch very briefly because this is a thing that it was qu a month ago already so it's uh, it's kind of old news uh but you want to touch briefly on our um all oh, right yeah <laughs> i i just remember something uh important that happened <laughs> last march last march, march like the third the switch. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> so uh unfortunately we don't own a switch yet we actually were in line yeah we were the switch. <laughs> so yeah the fun story we were at gdc yes. which was a very cool thing uh we were at gdc and we were walking back on uh, thursday the second we were walking we were walking uh, to our hotel yeah and it was what 11 30 p.m something around like that. around that yeah yeah just a, a few more minutes at midnight and uh, we just passed by the game, a GameStop on Market Street in San Francisco. <laughs> remember that? And we saw the line, and you were like, "Oh, look at those dumb people <laughs> just making the line." And then you turn around, and, and uh, both of you guys were already on your way <laughs> across the street. And we were just walking by to to, to the GameStop, and we, and we went into the line, and we're yep. standing there, and you were like, "What the fuck is going on?" And we're you like, really think you're gonna get one? I mean, really? Yeah, I mean, I. I it was more like a hope thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope. Because uh, <laughs> I wasn't planning on getting the Switch, but when I got into line, I got excited. And I, and I was like, man, I want this thing. I want to get the Switch. We didn't get one because uh, there were very limited quantities. So, yeah, we no Switch. Not yet. <laughs> uh, and um, maybe you're, most likely you are unaware of this, but the Switch, the Nintendo Switch in Mexico is super, super expensive. Like ridiculously, ridiculously expensive. Yeah. So we we don't plan on ever getting one here in Mexico. So we're lucky enough to be just a few hours away from the border, a few hours uh, driving from the border. So we are gonna get the switch when we eventually get it. We're gonna get it on the in the U.S. and just uh, bring it back with mm, us, right? right? Uh, but for now, we 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 don't have a switch. So yeah, nothing happened. But we cannot talk about impressions about us yes but we can talk very briefly about our impressions and experience at gdc right 2017 uh we were there as you know because uh, as i already mentioned we we're game developers indie game developers to be more precise and we were there uh on the gdc expo showing our game our games and we attended some sessions and we went to some parties and uh, well a lot of stuff was going on there Right. What do you take out from JDC? What was your oh boy overall experience with this? I mean, it was it was mostly exciting, and it was exciting because it was a uh, like there were a lot of firsts, right? I mean, it's it was our first our first GDC it was our first time really getting to know other people from the you know developer community. It was our first time attending because I mean, if you don't if you guys don't know uh, GDC, it's almost like I mean, the official name, it's Game Developers Conference, right? But it, it's more like a congress and, and also a yeah. show floor exposition. It's, it's like a lot of it's things. It's everything. Yes. It's everything. And so you have to, and in our case, we were there with uh, the Pro Mexico booth uh, on the show floor. We were, uh, what was the name of the, like, we were exhibitors, I guess, is, yeah. the, is the right? Um, right the uh, south. Hall. On this, yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it, it was the or south the hall. North one. No, it was the north one. Uh, I don't, I, or the west hall. I, I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. It was no, the, 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 the one, the expo show, right? The, the expo south. floor. It was, it was either north or south. Whatever, you were there. If you were there, you know what we're talking <laughs> yeah. about. If not, you don't, you should, you go. should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should go. yeah. Uh, so we were there with uh, the Pro Mexico booth. Uh, so we needed to be there at our stand, and then we also took some of the like the conferences and stuff, and the you know workshops and whatnot that they do. And we then split, and half of us went that way, half of us stay at the stand, and we rotated. Uh, we got to meet some people on on the Game Connection event that was happening at the AT and T Park, uh, fairly close by. Uh, we also were there, and I mean it was so many things and so many different you know. Experiences that we were not used to because we. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, is is are both cameras recording? Quick uh, <laughs> parenthesis here. We're uh, mm. switching to new equipment, and we're not <laughs> experienced yet with it. So if you see some technical issues or of, of some sort, just don't fret. <laughs> we're yeah, gonna try and fix that, them the, as soon as possible. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you probably you're not seeing Adolfo. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, you, you should go and check. 
know if it's I, I have no idea. Uh, if it says recording on the screen, probably it's, 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 it might be working. Yes? Okay. 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 Then never mind. Uh, you guys are, are fine. I hope you guys are <laughs> looking at us both. Uh, in any case, uh, it was a lot of new things for us, and, and that made it exciting. And, of course, we were overwhelmed with the amount of people we saw there, the amount of developers, the amount of, of actual, you know, people that went there and just saw things, the amount of things that we saw that we were not expecting to see. Like, we get to play with the Switch before it was actually released. We got to play some of the oh, games yeah. that we were very excited about uh, at the year's start, uh, like Ukulele and, you know, Horizon and whatnot, although Horizon was already out by then. Point being that it was a lot of first, and I, I think, uh, you know, being a developer and going out there and seeing things like that really reinvigorate, uh, you know, the enthusiasm that you have that you might start to lose once you start doing it like almost as a routine, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's your it's your job now, so it it's you know passion starts dingling and it's not the same as it is when you start doing any passion project. Uh, and being there, seeing all that people and seeing all the enthusiasm and the passion that they have for this industry, it's really reinvigorating. And I think it 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 really helps when you when you're in this business to see that side, right? To see all that, uh, like the joy of it and the the excitement that there is within the gaming industry. And it helped. It helped a lot. So uh, so yeah, it was a great experience. I would definitely. Uh, recommend it if you're a developer try and do uh, you know a, a, the, the best that you can or try and, and, and do something to be there uh, for later uh, iterations of the event because it's great it's really cool definitely yeah yeah it, it, that's that's on point uh, it was it, it, it was a, a it was a very big thing for us and it's also the first international it, the first big right. international industry event that we attend yeah because uh, we've been to a other couple of events and fan fest and that the, and that stuff in the country and outside, but this was the first one outside Mexico. That's a big thing. That's a big event that we attend. So it was it was a nice experience just meeting many people and looking at at, at, at uh, old faces as well. Mm -hmm. We 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 just uh, we saw a lot of friends that we made over the past few months and years over there at the event. It was a very cool thing. Um, yeah, it was it was it was nice. It was fun. Personal highlights. Uh, we met the team at Platonic yeah. Games, and we we took pictures with them as well. Grant Kirko, one of my childhood heroes. Right, who yeah. Made the soundtrack for Banjo Kazooie, among many other uh, old rare games. Daniel Dwyer, yes. my favorite video game journalist, was there, and it was a very fun, it was a very unexpected <laughs> and fun thing. Just walking by and looking at him on the other side, like, whoa, shit, that's Daniel Dwyer. <laughs> that, w that was super, super fun. Hey, Danny, and I mean, we're still pending on that, you know, the whole. All that we talked about over there, so you know, you know. Yeah, then you should come. Let's you let's keep come. in touch. Yes, you should come visit us and. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely, and and if if you if you do come here, man, you're gonna gain some weight. <laughs> we're gonna, we we food will not be an issue here. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> uh, that thing, and um, we also met a, a lot of musicians. Uh, yeah. We met the we 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 met the composers behind Metal Gear Solid Four, Peace mm -hmm. Walker, Bayonetta, right? Final Fantasy Fifteen. That was. Surreal, God of War, God of War, yeah, and, yeah, man, a lot, a lot, a lot of Star very, Marino, a lot of very cool, cool people that yeah. we, that we, I don't want to mention names, any more names, because I'm afraid of <laughs> missing <laughs> some of, of them, missing some of them. Yes. Yeah, that was a very fun thing. Oh, I'm, I met the the music, uh, the, the composer behind Outlast and Outlast Two Ooh. at a, at a party. Nice. That was very, very, very nice thing. Uh, yeah, so expect some more news uh, as they come up uh, in in terms of our. Uh, relationships with those people in the coming uh, months and years so that would be a very cool thing to look forward to right agree 